What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You guys know Vanessa Williams is still fine as hell at age 60. She looked better than most of y'all baby mamas, y'all in y'all 30s and 40s, or some of you sisters on here. She just looked good. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I remember at a time when I was very young, I heard this story. I was only about three or four. She was the first African-American Miss America, but she had to resign the title. She had, you know, busted it wide open on Penthouse and Larry Flint. So she had to give that title up. But still, she had um, an illustrious career. Comes from a really strong family, really good family. And um, despite her acclaims, Vanessa Williams has had a tumultuous love life. Starting with first, Raymond Hervey, the very talented entertainment manager. And then that didn't work out. She had some children from that marriage, I believe at least two. Then there was Rick Fox, two or three, okay? Rick Fox, again, marrying him, divorcing in 2004. I believe they have a child that came out of that marriage. All right. And after that, there was Mr. Jim script. Now, two black dudes didn't cut it. Let me go to the white men. And this is what I'm dealing with right here, right? After black, I can't go back. I got to go right. Let me go to Mr. White. This is what y'all do, right? And this is what the divesters do. Because Vanessa Williams is still attractive enough to get um, a white man. She is definitely the right skin complexion. In other words, I am tired of dealing with y'all. I'm tired of y'all. I'm going to divest it up, right? Because y'all are the problem. This is what they say. This is the particular attitude that we have. Y'all are the what of the issue. Let me go and get the white man. Okay, fine. So then you go and white man it up. No problem. Go and get the white man. And everything is going okay with Mr. Jim Script. Now, Jim Script is probably maybe the richest of all of them. I mean, he had to be rich. He's not really that good looking. No, you know, uh, in, in comparison, like, no, 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 like I said, no, 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 H O M O. But, you know, he he's an older guy. He got to have money, right? Just like most of y'all. Now, he's a real estate developer, former accountant, entrepreneur. He gets her in her, in, in, in her 54s, 50, 55. Four kids. Here's what he's doing, investing in that. That's that's actually, I mean, he can do it if you want, but you know what I'm saying, right? So now she used to always post this guy on Instagram every year. You know, we're married. This is our anniversary. Yada yada yada. And then two weeks ago would have been their seventh anniversary. And oops, she didn't post it. Oops, she didn't post it. Vanessa Williams has scrubbed off every goddamn picture of him and her mm, 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 mm. and on tamron's talk show tamron hall uh media a media takeout called it tampon hall she didn't mention her husband at all what is the problem over here with the whites i want to know and and maybe i'm wrong maybe they just taking a break maybe she forgot to post them or maybe she forgot to not you know, take her off his page or her page. But I, I, I want to talk about if this is the case, who is the real problem? And this is what I want to talk about today because some of you Nick and, and Negro, y'all really believe that y'all are not the problem. This is what kills me about black America. Black America think that it's somebody else's issue. This is, and again, this is why I don't deal with y'all like I used to. I don't. If you come to Africa, I will hang out with you. But when it comes to dealing with y'all, y'all don't feel like you did it wrong. Oh, hell no. You don't feel like you made no mistake. Oh, hell no. Every, every black man is bad. Every black man is terrible. Every black woman is terrible. Let me go with the whites. This is what y'all say. Then what happens? You take your ass over there, okay? You take your ass over there. Then you start having the same problems you had in St. Louis. You start having the same problems you have in Detroit. 
you start having the same problems you have in Jackson, Mississippi. You start having the same problems you have in Atlanta and you done went over there and tore those folks stuff up. You done went over there and destroyed them people's stuff. You done took your dustiness over there and you thought for whatever reason, it was their fault. Is that what you thought for real? That you wasn't the problem? How can you have, and, and for some of these ladies out here, how can you have, honey, baby daddy after baby daddy after baby daddy after baby daddy after baby daddy five kids five different baby daddies and it is just not your goddamn fault at all it is not you it's everybody fault but yours it's it's the police fault the condoms didn't work fault it's everybody fault um r kelly's music mixtapes fault the, the, the tangere you drunk at, at after after choir rehearsal fault everybody's fault but yours as to why you're dealing with that same thing with the black man he always blaming somebody for his d d d destructive decisions that he made oh the black woman don't want to let me leave fault my baby mama fault well brother didn't nobody tell you to sleep with her yeah but she threw it at me fault well, brother, you know they're condoms, but I didn't have none. I, my debit card declined at, at, at Shell Gas Station fault. I'm going to go over and get me a white girl. I'm going to be a passport, bro. Then some of y'all will take your simple-minded behinds over to these people's places, and you ain't going to do it over there, but destroy every goddamn thing you do. Then you wonder why can't nobody take you seriously. And Vanessa Williams ain't done nothing but destroy marriages after marriages, after marriages, after marriages, and weaved and sandaled it up, after weave, after sandal, after weave, after sandal. And what sense does it make to look that good when that's all you work on? You definitely don't work on um, learning how to talk to somebody, how to deal with a mate. Y'all don't look at that. Communication still on, on, on F minus, D plus. After all these years, relying on your looks, every man you get then when that man go and leave you what is that after you and that man you just a serial a marriage hopper ain't you you know you just you just serially getting married ain't you ain't you can't get it right can you and there's so many black women out there you know you need to get you a white man you know i need to get me zaddy and you go over there and, and, and zaddy tired of you too you ain't gonna get it together so stop playing leave these people alone some of y'all you know at least if you're gonna do something keep your problems over in black america okay work on yourself in black america don't take all your problems to somewhere else embarrass us like that we already got pookies and red rays we don't need you going over there destroying everything our reputation folk gotta folk gotta get mad when you when you when you fitting into the stereotype and so now we gotta we, we, we tired of that so guys what you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity job appreciate you for all these subscribe to the bell we're out